Hi, I'm Jeff Willen and I'm with the Amtrol's Technical Department and we're here today at the Amtrol Center for Education. And today we're going to be talking about choosing the correct expansion tank for your application. And today we're going to be talking about thermal expansion tanks. Thermal expansion tanks are used on water heaters and there are various uh, models of water heaters. We can have a gas water heater, oil, electric, indirect or a solar fired. All, the main purpose is to heat potable water for domestic use, which is the same water that you would take a shower in or wash your hands. Now, why do I need an expansion tank at all? Well, the main purpose of the expansion tank is to take up expanded water. When hot water heats, it expands. This expansion has to have some place to go. Well, what happens if I don't have any place for this to go? Well, I could damage my pressure relief valve. I could damage my water heater. I could, the system pressure could reach dangerous levels. What's considered a dangerous level? Anything over 80 PSI is a dangerous level. Uh, toilet fixtures don't like anything over 80. Faucets don't like anything over 80. So we want to keep that pressure lower. Now, when we use a thermal expansion tank, we are providing some place for this expanded water to go. Well, what does it do? It keeps our pressures in a safe range. Uh, system pressure is maintained at safe levels. Uh, water is returned to the system when demand occurs. And pressure relief valve and water heater lasts a lot longer when we keep the pressures lower and within normal realms. Thermal expansion, well, how does it work? Well, as you notice, uh, expanded water enters the expansion tank, stretching the diaphragm and increasing the air pressure in the tank. When demand occurs or I start to draw hot water, the increased air pressure pushes the water back into the system and empties the tank back out. Why should I choose a thermal expansion tank? And here's the big difference in expansion tanks. Number one, tank pressure is rated at 150 PSI, which is the same as my relief on my water heater. Tank has a plastic liner. Well, the reason for the plastic liner is to keep this domestic water from the steel. If we don't keep the domestic water from the steel, what will happen is the tank will rust or rot out and it will leak all over the floor. Versus if I use the hydronic tank as a thermal expansion tank, this hydronic tank, as you can notice right here, does not have a plastic liner. And without this plastic liner, this tank is going to run out in six months or a year. And the other thing is the hydronic tank, which is usually always gray, is only rated to 100 PSI versus the 150 PSI rating of my thermal expansion tank. And that concludes today's program. Please join us in the future for more help videos.